What's good, my lovelies, and welcome to my channel, Lovely Soul Empress. Today, I'm going to be doing Leo's love reading from August 10th to the 16th. If you're looking for a private reading, my information will be in the description box. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you'll find me at Lovely Soul Empress. Um, please do remember that the energies can be reversed, that there's no gender in tarot, and that um, this is a general love reading. All the messages may not resonate with you, but take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Now, when I was shuffling, meditating, and praying uh, on you guys' situation, I received a couple of messages. Okay, the first was our divine, uh, our divine uh, union is meant to be. And also, um, I miss you, but our separation is necessary right now so we can work on ourselves individually. As well, when I was meditating, the song um, Moving On by Maya was playing, so you might want to check that out. Okay, so if you've watched me before, you know I like to take jumpers. We're going to jump right in and uh, start pulling some cards. Spirit, can you show me what is going on with my Leo gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from August 10th to the 16th for their highest good spirit most important love messages they need to know right now spirit for their highest good please use me as your vessel spirit to bring forth those important messages for our leo gang three more spirit sun moon rising and venus for leo August 10th through the 16th, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. And you got the moon as the overall energy, okay? So, Leo, you have judgment, temperance, and the Six of Cups. At the heart of the matter is the Four of Cups. Your partner has the Ten of Pentacles, the High Priestess, with the Hierophant, and the Queen of Cups, okay? The overall energy, as I stated, was the moon. All right, we're going to jump right in and start clarifying. Spirit, why does my Leo gang have judgment here? So judgment, um, for me, this is Scorpionic energy as well as Sagittarius, okay? Um, so judgment could talk about a legal judgment. It can talk about uh, going to the universe and asking for help, saying that uh, something wasn't fair. Uh, it can talk about a final decision, and it can talk about reconciliation. Now, that's being clarified with the devil. This is Capricorn, okay? This is talking about um, toxicity, addiction, or um, obsession. Okay, you could have went to the universe. First off, the first thing I'm getting is that you're dealing with somebody who maybe has an addiction. That could be for some of you. And you might have walked away from this person with the Eight of Cups. For others of you, um, some type of toxicity um, made this person walk away. But right now I'm picking up that you walked away from this person because of some type of toxicity or addiction. Spirit, why is temperance here for my Leo gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Let me get one more, Spirit. Temperance, why? So, um, temperance is the card of Sagittarius, all right? This is talking about patience, healing, divine timing, uh, leveling out of a situation, bringing balance, and um, reconciliation. And then that's being clarified with the Two of Cups. So, I feel like somebody um, maybe went to the divine asking for uh, this Two of Cups situation, some type of reconciliation. And then the Page of Cups is an apology card for me. So, I feel like somebody's trying to apologize to you or you could be trying to apologize to them. Okay? But I feel like they're trying to apologize to you maybe because they know that they were um, behaving in a toxic fashion and you walked away from them. Spirit, why is the Six of Cups here? Why is the Six of Cups here for my Leo gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the Six of Cups here? So the Six of Cups talks about nostalgia, um, reconciliation, and fond memories. And that's being clarified with temperance again, the card of Sagittarius. We're getting a lot of Sagittarius heavy energy here. Now this, um, like I said, is patience, healing, divine timing, 
restoration and balancing of a situation and reconciliation, right? So this person, um, they want to reconcile with you. Um, and this could be you wanting to reconcile with them as well. Because I just talked about how they want to apologize. And maybe your wish is also to reconcile with this person. And uh, that's being clarified by uh, the Four of Wands. Okay, this is the 1111 card. This is the happy home, right? And that's being clarified with the 10 of Wands. So I feel like um, this person wants to lay down the burdens, or you do, so that you guys can reconcile. Spirit, why is the Four of Cups here at the heart of the matter for my Leo gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? So the I mean, the Four of Swords, sorry. So the Four of Swords is talking about rest and healing, right? Rejuvenation, right? Restoration, right? And then that's being clarified with the Knight of Swords, okay? So this is um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is a knight that rushes in with truth, um, usually harshly. You could have had an argument with this person. At the bottom of the deck is the tower. It caused... Um, the universe to strike this uh, foundation because it was built on something faulty. Under that is the card of justice. It looks like there was some karma that was doled out because of this. Spirit, can I get one more with this Knight of Swords and this Four Swords energy at the heart of the matter for my Leo gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? You might be receiving messages from this person right now. Um, Actually, I feel like you aren't because it's in reverse. Okay, so there's like no communication going on right now. Page of um, the Knight of Cups, okay? So it's about a love offer. Now this could have um, been, uh, I don't see a third party right now. So I feel like you both wanna offer um, love to each other, but nobody wants to make the first move because there was an argument, okay? Spirit, Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Leo's partner, Spirit? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Leo's partner, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? So the Ten of Pentacles talks about community, um, family, building generational wealth and legacy, right? And that's being clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. So uh, abundance is definitely coming. That's two tens. You have another ten over here. That's three tens, Okay. Um, and then um, this person might feel that you're the one who's very abundant. Okay. And then the five of pentacles, somebody being left out in the cold. Now, also, this can be financial lack because um, fives are change. So there could have been a change to this person's uh, financial situation. Maybe because you guys aren't together. Maybe you're the person that uh, usually brings in the majority of the income. Either way, uh, here's the hanged one. Okay, so this person has gone into hangman mode. They feel stuck. They don't know what to do. Spirit, why is the high priestess here for Leo's partner, Spirit? Why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here for Leo's partner? So um, the high priestess, this is uh, inner knowing intuition this is the card of pisces this is also for me um gemini and taurus okay so um this person could have had intuition about you or they could feel that you're very intuitive okay and i feel that you are because you have temperance here three times on your um side two times and then with judgment so i feel like you are definitely tapped into the divine Okay, um, and also the high priestess doesn't say everything she knows. So this person might be holding back some information from you or you could, or they could feel that you're holding back from them. That's being clarified with the four cups. Now the four cups talks about um, wanting to make a love offer, but feeling it won't be accepted. Not wanting to make a love offer, being afraid to make a love offer. Uh, bring, being afraid to accept a love offer or losing interest in a love offer. So I feel like this person feels like if they make this offer to you, they will be rejected. Spirit, let me get one more. The High Priestess with the Four of Cups for Leo's partner. High Priestess with the Four of Cups. Why, Spirit? So, um, this High Priestess 
whether they see you like that or themselves, is trying to manifest um, this new beginning, okay? Even though they're afraid that this love offer won't be accepted. I feel like this person is uh, trying to manifest you, okay? Even though they're very worried that, um, that you won't accept their love, okay? Spirit, why is the Hierophant here for um, Leo's partner? So the Hierophant... This is Taurus. This is the leader of an organization. This is a spiritual person, a pastor, a preacher. Uh, it could be somebody who's in the military, um, a judge, a cop. We're talking about structures, okay? This person has a lot of wisdom, okay? They're tapped into the divine, okay? Um, and this is also the husband card. Okay, so they, they could have felt like this was a very serious commitment or that's what they want. Okay, and then that's sitting here with the Queen of Cups, right? This is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, right? So this queen, she's very loving and intuitive, but she doesn't always show what she feels on the outside, right? So this person might be holding back what they're feeling, but what they're feeling is the Ace of Cups, true love, okay? Okay. Spirit, let me get one more. The Hierophant with the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Why, Spirit? For Leo's partner. The Hierophant with the Queen of Cups and uh, the Ace of Cups. So here's this High Priestess again. Now, also the High Priestess and the Hierophant, for me, that is a couple in itself. So like power couple, right? And then here you go with the High Priestess again, inner knowing. Now, this person... With the Hierophant and the High Priestess sitting in the same row, they are also very tapped in, okay? And then they have the Judgment card too. They know that some type of final decision is uh, coming um, and they want that decision to be a reconciliation, to start in a new direction, take a leap of faith in this relationship. But they're afraid you're going to come to them like this, the Queen of Swords, okay, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, that you will cut them out, okay? She has a sharp wit, a sharp tongue, and a sharp sword. And if you um, don't match up what she already knows, and I already said the High Priestess, she has uh, inner knowing, she will cut you, right? So that's what they think you're going to do, okay? But they feel very passionate towards you, okay? So they're going to try to come in anyway. Now, let's clarify this moon for the overall energy of the reading spirit. Why is the moon here for my Leo gang, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? So, uh, the moon is talking about, um, this is the card of Pisces, could be Cancer too, um, but that's being clarified with the emperor. So, for some of you, um, first, the emperor is Aries or Taurus. This is um, someone who is a boss, a CEO, um, an independent contractor, a manager, someone who has authority. This person could be older than you. Uh, this person has a lot of wisdom. A lot of times they're married. Um, that could be the secret that you um, that this person is married. Let me get one more. The moon and the emperor spirit. Why? For the overall energy for Leo's reading spirit, the moon and the emperor. Why spirit for Leo? Okay. So, um, in the past, this person had secrets. And that led to a lot of conflict with this five of wands, okay? They had a lot of secrets, uh, subconscious emotions, things they were hiding from you. Now, I already said this is Taurus and um, Aries, right? But it could be any sign, right? This person, uh, the emperor, can sometimes be controlling, okay? Um, but they are the embodiment of all four kings, okay? Um, they have a lot of wisdom, okay? Um, and then that's being clarified with the sun. So finally, this person is trying to come into balance because the sun illuminated um the importance that you have in their life. Now, also, this is the card of Leo. Okay, so this is you. 
all right this is also the card of ego this person might have had a big ego the emperor usually does okay and now um they're trying to come into balance with this uh sun and moon in the same line that's like the perfect balance and that's what they're trying to achieve so they can come into you all right let's get some um manifest your soulmate cards spirit can you show me what would help leo manifest the best outcome they can from august 10th to the 16th spirit what would help leo manifest the best outcome they can sun moon rising and venus what would help leo manifest the best outcome that they can spirit anything else thank you spirit so uh, you are on your way to meeting your true love. When you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm and no anxiety, no agitation. Release your worries and receive universal abundance. Okay, so that's telling me um, that if this person isn't your person, the universe is bringing in your person. And if they are your person, they need to finish coming into balance before they can return to you. Life is art. Paint your dreams, sing your songs, enjoy the dance. So spirit is basically telling you um, not to worry and to um, enjoy um, every day like it's your last, right? Because um, release your worries and receive universal abundance because the universe got your back. Okay? So let's get some um, divine love messages. Spirit, can you show me what Leo's person is feeling but not saying, Spirit? What is Leo's person feeling but not saying? Anything else, Spirit? I'm not ready yet. I need time to heal. I will provide for you. That is very emperorish like. We belong together. And dare to go for it. A positive outcome is to be expected. So right now, um, they're kind of hoping that you'll come to them and they don't have to um, take this leap of faith. I also told you, you both are kind of wanting to make um, this love offer to each other, but nobody wants to take the leap of faith. Do you hear that, Michael Jackson? Do you remember the time? So you guys are both reminiscing on each other. Um, and it's like, dare to make the, um, dare to go for it. A positive outcome is to be expected. So they're hoping that you come into them. But they do, um, they feel that you guys belong together and they want to take care of you. Okay, let's get some uh, love and romance uh, angels. Spirit, what does uh, Leo feel for their person, Spirit? What does Leo feel for their person, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What does Leo feel for their person, Spirit? What does Leo feel for their person? So you're trying to, um, just as I said, release and let it go to the universe. You're trying to let go of control issues. Uh, you might be in retreat right now, okay? Um, but you feel like this person might be worth waiting for. There's romantic feelings here, but you might feel there's some codependency. And I did tell you, they had the two the two tens of pentacles here. So either they're the ones that have control of the financial purse or you do and somebody feels in lack for that situation. Spirit, what does Leo's person feel for them? So they're in separation and they want to come out of this because there's a lot of chemistry. They want you to know it's safe for you to love. Uh, they're trying to keep it playful with you. They see you loving yourself first. Um, this person might have been a flirt in the past or they might have felt um, that flirting would be the way to like get back into you. But I don't think so. I think you thought they were a flirt and because um, there's no communication right now. All right, and then um, the engagement card is here. So you guys could have been talking about your level of commitment. This person does feel that you are a soulmate, okay? Spirit, can you um, show me what actions Leos will be taking towards their partner, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August 10th through the 16th? So uh, right now... 
you are uh, saying that uh, you are your love is unrequited. So I feel like right now you are not making effort to them. You are in retreat from this person. We already talked about that. Um, you might feel like going away with this person would help get things back on track. Um, and uh, the worth waiting for is here. Spirit, what actions will um, Leo take, Leo's person take towards them? What actions will Leo's person take towards them, Spirit? So Moon, Rising, and Venus. So they feel a lot of passion for you. They want you to know it's safe for you to love. They feel uh, a lot of chemistry with you. They're trying to keep it playful. They're trying to flirt with you. They see you loving yourself first, okay? And very soon, um, they might ask you for some level of commitment. So like if you guys were um, dating each other but still uh, having an open situation, they want to make it exclusive or if you were living together, maybe they want to get engaged. And why? Because of the soulmate card. They feel that you are their soulmate. Okay, they want to heal these family issues. And they're willing to make the effort. And they want to give this relationship a chance. Okay? Spirit, what is the outcome for this situation for my Leo gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the outcome for Leo's? So, um, Spirit says you deserve love and you may have to free yourself if you do decide, um, to give this relationship a chance, um, you, you're going to be concentrating on your finances and career because there still may be a deception and pay attention to the red flags. There may be children here. Okay. So Spirit is advising you to, uh, keep your head on a swivel because there might be things that you still don't know about that's going on here. And you did have the moon as the overall energy. So there might be some things that are unknown. Okay. Uh, I do feel like this emperor is going to come clean to you though, with this, a sun and moon card, like they want to balance it out. Okay. What you will do once they balance it out is a whole other matter. Let's get some advice from Spirit. Spirit, can I get some advice from my Leo gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August 10th to the 16th, Spirit. So you got forgiveness. So Spirit is advising you that no matter what the outcome, forgiveness is going to be important for your, uh, your own healing. Okay? Um, and... I'd just like to say thank you to my returning subscribers for spending a little bit of time with me. And if you were a new viewer and you felt I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment as I would love to have you as part of the Lovely Soul family. I'm wishing y'all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.